Aha. Yo. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Mo 804. Coming to you live Saturday morning. I'm in uh, Ohio right now. Some part of Ohio. I really can't think of the place or the city. A little small place. I just made a delivery about five, five miles or so up the road. So it's a real, you know, nice little quiet rest area that I'm at right now. Birds is chirping. You know, it's still early in the morning. It got some rain overnight, so everything is damp and moist. So I know Chip gonna be a mess. I'm out here walking him right now, so I'm definitely gonna have to wipe him down before I even let him get back in the truck. Oh Lord, and he don't see another dog over there, so all his attention gonna be over there. But he all good. I'm really sliding through right now to say, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a news watcher in that sense, so I don't really know, you know, any and all the details that's going on with the virus stuff and, you know, some of the things that the government's planning to do and what the people are doing. I don't really know the pulse, you know, or the overall vibe of how everybody feels at home for, for the most part. You know, we talk to the kids or, you know, I talk to some of my homies. So, you know, I know, I guess, the little things that's going on in different states, how different states are dealing with, you know, this whole uh, thing. But I know everybody's being told to, you know, stay sheltered, stay inside, not too much interaction with other people, you know, the whole dis distancing thing. You know, all, all of that, so I, I get it. But I'm just coming through right now to say that, you know, I'm not not taking it serious. I know it's a real thing, but at the same time, I'm gonna do my part. And what I mean by doing my part is, you know, as truckers, we are allowed to kind of still get out here and, and do our thing. You know, I'm still able to earn a living. But at the same time, I know I'm providing a service and I know things are a lot bigger than just me or just us right now. So, you know, I guess I'm just lying through right now to give my own Pledge of Allegiance, <laughs> so to speak. I'm, I'm laughing about it, but I know it's, it's serious business at the same time. You know, I'm, I'm pledging as a trucker that, you know, I'm gonna get out here, man, and I'm not gonna duck and dodge. I'm not gonna shy away from you know, the responsibility that I have as a trucker or what they call it now, essential personnel or whatever. You know, I'm not gonna uh, tuck my tail and hide away from it. You know, we're gonna meet the whole thing head on. Whatever we're asked to do um, in this industry to provide for the people, to get the country back to, um, I guess what we consider to be normal. I'm gonna do it, man, you know. I, I don't know how long we're gonna be out here. I don't know how long this whole thing is gonna be happening. Like, I guess none of us do, but you know, as far as running back home and you know, to make sure I'm spending time with the family, all those things are important, you know, and I don't wanna alienate my own family, kids and, and parents and the whole nine yards. But I also know that as a country right now, you know, people are looking for some forms of normalcy. People are looking for some type of um, support. And I do know that as, as products and services and things are being constantly used all around the country, the replenishing of those same items are very necessary. Some things more important than others. When you look at the grand scheme of really what's important, you know, and I'm in the industry or the the part of the trucking industry where I do a lot of food, you know, and I know that that's, you know, one of the main resources right now that people are out here needing, along with health supplies, um, you know, just all the other particular things that, 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 that people are utilizing right now and there seems to be a shortage of. So I'm just gonna be out here as long as it takes, man. We know I'm gonna try to do two months. I know a lot of schools and things have already been closed down, so. I don't know if two months will be May. I don't know if May, or I don't know if in May, if things will even be close to being right yet. So 
like I said, however long it takes, I just want to let people know that myself and many other truckers, people in the health field, uh, the warehouse workers, uh, police officers, you know, um, people who have certain jobs that may have looked a one way or may have felt like had one responsibility before, I can feel the responsibility being a lot greater now. So again, I just want to pledge my allegiance to the people, to all of you, to all of your families, that me personally, I'm going to do any and everything that I can do to get things back to normal, to get these babies a sense of normalcy. Because, you know, I, I know the babies really don't understand what the heck is going on right now. Because most of us as adults don't even get it. So, again, like I said, myself and I'm sure plenty of other truckers, man, you know, we're going to do any and everything we can do to get this thing squared away as, as quick as possible. And we're going to do our best, you know, um, to, to get it back right. So... Again, I pledge allegiance, man, to the people of this country that's out here going through it. That we're gonna get through it together and uh, hopefully we'll be better on the other end because of it. You know, all I can say is certain habits you might have had, this is the time to go inside self and break a lot of those habits. You know. Everybody go through and deal with the things that they deal with, but I, I really feel like this is the time right now that you can really look at yourself, pull the best part out, and spit out the bones. And the bones is, like I said, bad habits, you know, things that you know you ain't had no business doing. Hopefully this puts a lot of things in perspective for you. And again, like I said, we'll be better because of it individually and collectively so again it's your boy moido four man this is married to the miles and i pledge my allegiance to the people and we're gonna get it done and uh that's all i gotta say about that so chip said what's up wife in the truck sleep and i'm out here doing what i gotta do but it is what it is man it's your boy moido four and i'm ghost you heard <laughs>